say he isn't planned to hand it. This is a preamble to the prayer. Tonight we remember the precious children who have been sacrificed within the doors of this building. We grieve as we recognize that it is the intention of the Father of Lies to rob us as a people of the very essence of life. It is in his manifesto to steal the womb of a nation, the holy place where life begins, the place where life is nurtured and protected until the moment of birth. Listen, America and leaders of our nation, what cannot be forgotten is that every child, whether in the womb, born rich or poor, healthy or unhealthy, strong or weak, is valuable and has been given gifts and talents that are far too significant not to be shared with the world. Imagine that. Thank you all for being here. Please join with me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the all-powerful name of Jesus the Christ and in the counsel of the Holy Spirit, acknowledging you, God, as Creator, acknowledging you, Almighty God, as the final judge, acknowledging that the Supreme Court and the Congress are ultimately accountable to you personally and corporately, O oh Lord God, as the final judge, and final authority. Help us to understand your standards have been consistently rebelled against by our society. We repent for what our world has sanctioned for the murder of babies in the womb. We cast down the modern day Baal Moloch, which was the man-made abortion god of biblical and ancient history with the head of a bull and a human body with outstretched arms where babies born and pre-born were placed over a raging fire. And just as in these modern times, the media and political leaders have tried to drown out the sounds of evil destroying the precious gift from God of human life in the womb. The ancients beat their war drums to drown out the screams of the babies burning alive on the altar of Moloch. Forgive us, O oh God. Tonight, we tear down the satanic principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places which condone this modern and ancient Holocaust. We acknowledge you, O oh Lord, as the creator and the giver of all life, and I command in the powerful name of our Lord, a blessing tonight upon all those who stand for life here, now. Guard them and bless them for their stand for life. We pray all of these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>